I am the woman who wears the dress. Listen closely, for as I speak, I twirl in and out of existence. You do not see me for that reason. My entire creation is yet a drawing now digitalized and played within many forms. Let us pretend that the dress you see takes up space in your reality. As that holds true, I will tell you that the fabric of the dress you see and all its atoms and molecules move at a much slower rate than myself. That is why you are seeing the dress and the splatterings which indicate movement, quick movement, appear before your eyes, the sense of vision, as you call it. The only parts of me you see are particular lines that shape only a fraction of my legs, and that's because my legs are predominant in the dance. It would have looked silly to have only a dress shown in this piece with no parts of a body showing. Some people even have a hard time seeing the lines of my legs. But if you look closely, you will see that I am wearing a ballet slipper, and I'm on one tiptoe, and the other leg is horizontally shown to the left in this piece. As you will observe, my artist first drew and painted me on white paper, and her vision was to see me against a black background. It is much easier for her to paint on white paper than on black. So she first painted me orange, knowing that the inversion, or shall we say the color opposite orange on the color wheel, would be a type of blue, depending on the orange used. She wanted turquoise against black, so she chose a type of persimmon to create turquoise upon inversion. The artist has been painting dancers in motion for many years. This time, the emphasis was on the movement and even a trail of movement, showing a split second passage of time. Think of an athlete or a musician who practices a certain passage or exercise repeatedly. Over and over they see the action not only in process but the end result. The athlete perhaps takes the ribbon upon crossing the finish line first. The musician perhaps stammers and takes a bow toward the audience. Hence this piece relates to the mind's ability to go through the actions and go on to other thoughts. The action may still be taking place while the mind has moved on. It is another form of shape-shifting. Now you see me, now you don't. And what of my color changes? Here's some real fun. When you see a prism or rainbow through a shiny object, that's a god thing. Refractions of light that split and show all the colors visible to the naked eye, that is a phenomenon. To be shown here, one at a time, is that phenomenon in slow motion. So now we are playing with time here as well. I, the woman who wears the dress, am moving so fast that you can't even see me. I have, in essence, flashed out of existence. The dress presents itself in real time. The splatters of paint show movement in a very slow down motion. The changes of color are yet another level of slow motion, slower yet. This art piece was created in 2009. It is now 2016. And the artist was inspired this year to reflect upon the meaning of me. That delay is another play on time. Let us call it frozen in time. I, the woman who wears the dress, has known all along what the art piece is all about. Yet the artist put her focus on that meaning seven years hence. My artist is fascinated with the concept of time travel. It has become more than a fascination since she also realizes there's no such thing as time. I just put into her mind I wonder what the woman who wears the dress looks like. <laughs> that is the fun of this piece. I've been here all along, 
and will be here eternally, yet you cannot see me. And yet further, you can now hear me. This art piece is another example that Sunshower often names specifically that art catches a fraction of a nanosecond. It's like a freeze frame or stop motion. Wonder what the entire dance looks like. Ah, that's for me to know and for you to ponder.